okay? I'm sorry, I forgot to press start on the video. So we're over here in our force in motion book or foldable. I forgot to press start in the video. So here we are, we're in force in motion. So force can change the movement, shape, and position of objects. That's what we wanna put, so that's what force can do. Now, what is force? So we're looking at our vocabulary and force is a, or force is a length, is a what? What is force? If you go back and you look in your vocabulary, what is it? It is a push or pull. So let's write in the, a push or pull. Write a push or pull that And that may or may not. That may or may not result in movement. Because force, sometimes you can move something with force and sometimes you don't. So it can result in movement or it may not. It may result in movement or it may not result in movement. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. So let's all write that there. Okay, everybody got that? Okay, now we're gonna go to the back side. The back side, that's what we need. And this is where your markers are going to come in handy. I need you to have your markers. Okay. So now let's start. We're going to start in the, oops. We're going to start with magnetism. Now, we're going to be going over this because you have not done this yet. Now I'm going to clear this off because we have already done this. So we're looking at magnetism. And I want you to take your marker, and I want you to take a yellow marker out. Take out a yellow marker. And I want you to color our magnetism box. So color in the box that says magnetism with your yellow marker. So we have magnetism. And does anybody know who's ever played with magnets? And magnets have a north pole and, an, and a south pole. So they have opposite poles. And what happens with the opposite poles? What happens with them? Two things can happen. They can attract or they can repel. What happens with the opposite poles? Do they attract or do they repel? Yes? Repel. They what? Repel. They attract or repel. Which is it? They they attract, opposite poles attract. Very good, so opposite poles attract. So let's write attract, okay? And so this here is our magnet. And we have a south pole and a north pole on our magnet. And then here we have another magnet. Here's what I'm gonna do on my magnets. And so here on this magnet, I have a north and a south pole. And around my magnet with my yellow marker, I'm going to draw a magnetic field, okay? Because it's magnetic. And so here is my magnetic field. Here's my magnetic field. Here 
of my magnetic field coming all around my magnet. Magnet one, always look at a magnetic field going because it's magnetic. My magnetic field. I'm drawing my magnetic field around my magnet. These are magnetic. Okay? Now here's what I'm going to do on this one. Here's my magnetic field. Here's my magnetic field. Now because, oops, you know what I did, boys and girls, I made a mistake. Erase your mistake. This should be south and north as well. So south, north, south, north. I was looking at the bottom example. So these are going to what? The north and the south are going to attract. So this is what I'm going to do. My magnets are going to attract to each other, so I'm going to draw attraction lines. Attraction lines. Because they're going to, if I put my two magnets together, they're going to what? They're going to attract to each other. They're going to stick to each other. So let's do that. Yes? Yes, when I was little, I had these two magnets, and what they were Scotties. One was a black one, and one was a white one. Probably wasn't, it was like a West Highland Terrier. So, and I used to love to play with them because depending on how you turn them, they would stick or they would repel. They'd attract and repel. So now, so we have our opposites attract. Now, what do you think light poles do? So if you have poles that are alike, like poles, so if light opposite poles attract, like poles do the opposite, they would, they would repel, meaning that they will not, they'll push away from each other, they'll push away from each other. Now here's where I have to draw my north by each other, okay? Did everybody make sure that they have a north and a south next to each other here? Because remember, I messed that up. So now here, I've drawn my magnets. Yours are already there. This, oh, you didn't have to draw yours. I drew mine. South, north, north, south. So now I'm going to draw. You're drawing with your yellow marker. I'm going to draw my magnetic field around them. I have a good magnetic field. Okay, draw your magnetic field, boys and girls. Draw a magnetic field. So my magnets have a magnetic field. Okay. Draw my magnetic field. But guess what? Am I going to draw Am I going to draw an attraction between them? Are they attracted? No, they're not attracted. So I'm not going to draw the attraction like my north and my south pole. If I put those two magnets together, they're going to go boop right together. These two magnets are not going to. I cannot get them to go together no matter what I do. They are not attracted to each other. Okay, now, magnets will only stick to certain types of metal. Who's ever played with magnets? And you walk around and you try to stick them to different things, right? That's fun to do, isn't it? To try to stick them to things. Stick them to something, they'll stick. Stick them to other things, and what happens? They fall off, right? Well, magnets only stick to these certain things. S is for steel. So a magnet will stick to steel. Steel. So let's write steel. They will stick to iron. They stick to nickel. And then they stick to cobalt. Oops, I 
little nipple on. Nipple. Oh. Nipple and cobalt. Those are all types of metal that a magnet will stick to. And you can kind of remember the acronym SINC, S I N C, SINC. And so a magnet will stick to all those types of metal. Okay, now let's go to our Earth, where it says gravity. Do you see the gravity with the Earth? This time I want you to do where it says gravity, and I want you to color that in blue. You are gravity blue. And the gravity blue. With your blue marker, color gravity in blue. doodle that in blue. Okay, now look, what I want you to do is I want you to color, let's, let's look here. It says gravity blank to the center of the earth. Who remembers our definition of gravity? What does gravity do? Gravity does what? Rose? Sticks. Sticks, or what's another, another word? What does it do? It, it, Pulls. It pulls to the center of the earth. Pulls. Pulls to the center of the earth. And so now what I want you to do is I want you to color the grass parts or the earth parts on the earth, which would be this is green, this is green, 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 green. And then you can kind of color this blue, but don't color so you can't see the word pulls. So you can do some coloring right there. You can color with your markers, but don't color where we have the writing. And you see our arrows are showing us all how gravity is pulling to the center of the earth.
So let's color that in. Gravity pulls everything to the center, or towards Earth, towards Earth. Pulls to the center of the Earth. Okay. Getting foggy glasses here. Yes. So now, look at, let me still have a little Earth there. A little Earth there. A new color for friction. What color do we think it's? Let's pull out pink maybe because red I think will be too turned and we won't be able to see. So let's get a pink marker out for friction and let's color in our friction into pink. Let's color friction pink. So let's color our friction sign. friction. Okay, now let's see if we could fill in about friction. So friction is a force that Have any idea what words do you think are gonna gonna fit in here? What do you think, um, Bryson? Push. It doesn't push. Friction doesn't really push you. It does something else. Yes, Avalyn. It slows down the object. It does. It slows down. So that slows. That's our first word. That's one of the effects it has. It can slow you. It slows, or it can do something else. Totally. It slows, or Bianca? Yes, it slows or stops an object. It slows or stops motion. Slows or stops motion. I'm going to try to get this so it looks like that one. Slows or stops motion. So it slows or stops motion when objects Rub, rub what? Rub what? Rub what? Ava? Together. Yeah, when objects rub together. Very good. When objects rub together. Now, okay, the blank the surface. What do you think this one means? The blank the surfaces are, so how should the surfaces be? Now, we kind of have a clue when we look at the bottom. When we look at the picture on the bottom. What do you think, Abelin? Um, it rubs on the floor or the grass. What kind of surface is it? Rough. The rougher, yes, the rougher the surface. The rougher the surface. Okay, so the rougher the surface, or the surfaces are, the harder, oh, oh, I gave you the clue, sorry, the harder, gave you the answer, the harder they push together. I know, I gave you another one, the harder they push together. This is something that we didn't, we, have, we haven't discussed, we really haven't discussed a lot of this, so this is like new info for you. 
Okay, so this one I'm gonna ask you to figure out the blank friction there is. So the, the blank friction there will be. So what do you think? What word will go here? What do you think? Bryson? More. Yes, the more friction there will be. The more friction there will be. Very good, the more friction there will be. So, boys and girls, look. Look, we have a ball rolling, and it's rolling on like rough grass or a rough surface. So, what kind of friction will there be? Will there be more friction or less friction if you're on a rough surface? Santiago? More. more. Everybody put more there for the ball rolling in the rough surface. More friction, so more. More, definitely more. Yes, more. And then how about if it's rolling with a smooth, like let's say a ball was rolling on this floor in the classroom. What kind of friction would we have then? What kind of friction would we have then? Hector, more or less friction if it's rolling? Less. Here. Yeah, less. It would have a smooth, wouldn't it? The ball would just roll so easily. Less friction, okay? Now. Here's one I want to get to before we're done, because we still have we still have two sides, but we're going to see. We're, I want to get the force done, because we still have a little bit here about force, and we're kind of force expert. We've been talking about force, so it says here, force is a blank or blank measured in blank. Let's see if we could fill that in. Olivia, do you know force is a? And force is a push or pull measured in newtons. Very good. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. Good job. So let's get that in there. So force is a push or a pull measured in newtons. Who remembers? who Newtons are named after. Yes? Isaac Newton. Yes, or Isaac Newton. Very good, good job. So now you need to put this in your science folder so it's in a safe place. And we could do it next time we have science, which would be for your classes Thursday. Thursday. Very good.